Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to show you a new kind of grocery haul that I've not done before, and that is a grocery haul from Trader Joe's. So over the years, I have gone through phases where I shop at Trader Joe's. Right now, my husband and I are starting a lean, protein and low carb diet that I've done before. I've told you before that we, I try to eat like this, um, but sometimes I get off track. <laughs> and um, that is that journey is what got me started on eating, replacing my beef with ground turkey and that kind of thing. Anyway, they have a lot of frozen vegetables that fall in that low carb category, lots of different ways to do uh, cauliflower, and I'll show you, they've got some great stuff. But anyway, we spent $172.57, and there is stuff in here, not just for my husband and I, but also for lunch items for our kids. When my kids were little, we used to meet up with our good friend Kim um, and her kids. They were a homeschool family too, and I've known Kim since before I had any of my children. Um, and she, uh, she had just become a mother to her oldest son, who is probably 26, 27 now. Oh my goodness, we're getting old. Anyway, we used to meet up at Costco, not Costco, we used to meet up at Trader Joe's once a week and do our little Trader Joe grocery shopping. We would do it during the day, we would take the kids with us, and we always had so much fun doing that. So today when we went, one of my teenagers, who's now 15, went in with me, and he's like, Mom, do you remember when we used to always be at Trader Joe's at the same time as Kim? How did y'all do that? I'm like, we planned it. It was very intentional. Anyway, she's the one that got me started on Trader Joe's and we have loved it ever since. That was back in the day when we lived in Fort Worth and we would go to the TCU location. Without further ado, let me show you what we got on our grocery haul. These are some of their organic, uh, well, I don't even care that they're organic, but it's the rainbow cauliflower. This makes a great side. I bought two of these. I will put these in, I will probably do these in the oven, like on a sheet pan and put some, uh, salt and pepper on them, and Lenny and I will share these as a side, one of the nights that we make chicken or grilled chicken or whatever. So two bags of those, that's really yummy. And the kids might eat some too, but they have other vegetable options too, and our vegetable options are more slim than theirs are. So I grabbed this. I don't really know that it falls under our lean because it does have a lot of cheese on it, but it's a broccoli cauliflower gratin. I got it just in case we can eat it to have um, with our Thanksgiving dinner maybe, but it has it has eight grams of carbs, which is not bad, I don't think. So, especially when there's how many servings here? Four servings, but we'll see. Their mashed cauliflower is so good. Yes, you can make homemade mashed cauliflower, but this is so simple and so easy. You just take, okay, let me say, mashed cauliflower is not fantastic, no matter how you do it, but theirs is tolerable. Um, I've tried, I have made mashed cauliflower from scratch. It's work. I would rather just get it like this and add a little bit of salt and pepper and call it a day. It's not the most horrible thing in the world, but it's not a uh, bag. You know, it's not regular potato, mashed potatoes. So there's that. Okay. Anytime I'm at a place where they have spiral zucchini, I grab it. I've not had Trader Joe's spirals zucchini spirals but i'm sure they're super i mean they look it's basic it's just spiraled zucchini um these things are like two dollars a piece guys this stuff well this was a little more expensive but all of these are three dollars and under seriously super inexpensive i think this was a dollar something or a little over two dollars a piece these will be great to have on hand for spaghetti nights for me and Lenny. um the chicken fried rice i got for my big kids they luke picked this out he wants to have make this one day for lunch for everybody for him and his brothers and he also wanted to try this beef broccoli they these if you're just looking for quick easy dinners and you're not worried about low carb or whatever um all of this stuff that trader joe's has is so good and then the mandarin orange is really good too so he'll make one of these for He'll make one of these for lunch one day and then the other one for lunch one day. So I grabbed those for them. That will be super yummy. And also any of their frozen rice is really good. It comes in a box and you get, I think, two packs. They've got brown frozen rice, white frozen rice, jasmine frozen rice, cauliflower frozen rice, 
and then the fried rice. They've got lots of great frozen vegetable options if you're looking. All right, I also grabbed these salmon burgers. These will be a great, easy dinner to just take out, pop it in the air fryer, and Lenny and I can have for dinner with, over a salad or, or something. I'll show you in just a second some of the salads that I bought. Tonight we are having fish tacos. You see, you've seen in my Sam's Club grocery haul that I purchased um, some cod battered or battered cod frozen fish. That's what the kids are gonna have for their fish tacos. All of the salmon that I have in my freezer has seasoning on it that I did for a freezer meal. That's not going to jive with my low carb, low protein, or high, lean protein, low carb diet. So I grabbed this thing of salmon fillets and we have those going in the air fryer right now. So it's already empty, but um, the kids can either have the battered, they can either have the battered cod, what was it? Cod, right? I think it's cod. Cod, halibut, now I don't even know. Beer battered, I don't know. What's my name? I don't even know who I am. Our kids are gonna have beer battered something. I don't remember what it is. It's some sort of frozen fish that I bought at Sam's in my last Sam's grocery haul. But anyway, we're gonna have salmon and any kids that want salmon, they can have salmon too. So there's that. All right, I needed turkey bacon. Turkey bacon is not my favorite thing in the world, but low carb life leads to turkey bacon. So we'll be having this with our cauliflower soup that I'm gonna make in a couple of days. And we will just grin and bear it. And I actually have not tried Trader Joe's turkey bacon. So we're excited to try that. You know, we'll see. We can't, we can't have everything, you know? So there's that. All right. They were out of corn tortillas. So I had to grab these and these for the kids for their tacos tonight. So we'll see how that goes. I really would have preferred to have corn tortillas. This is a gluten-free tortilla that's made out of quinoa. Uh, we'll see how the kids like it. All right, here is one more cauliflower thing that I bought. This is spicy Mexican style riced cauliflower that has bell peppers, jalapenos, and tomatoes in it. So we will have this as a side probably with our tacos tonight. Super yummy, excited to try this. I've not tried this one. Again, Trader Joe's has so many cauliflower options. They're great when you're trying to eat low carb, lean protein, okay? All right. For our tacos, for mine and Lenny's, we're going to have these jicama wraps. These are fantastic. The only thing about these is they generally, the date on them is fast approaching every single time that I've purchased them. Whoops, let me just do it this way. Every single time I've purchased them, the date is approaching. So these expire in like five days. So we'll need to use them up. There's 12 in each container. I went ahead and bought two just in case the kids don't want to do these and they're wanting something more corn tortilla-like, they can do these too. You just heat them up in a pan on each side. They're tiny, well, they're not tiny. They are thinly sliced jicama slices. And you just use them like a corn tortilla shell. So this is what we're gonna have our salmon tacos with tonight. And then I have that homemade pizza dough kit that I bought on our last Sam's grocery haul that is in the refrigerator. And we're gonna have, the kids will have pizza one night this week. So I went ahead and grabbed this for me and Lenny. I want to say this was three bucks. You get two very thin, look at how thin that is, and it's very flimsy. Two very thin cauliflower crusts. So Lenny will get one and I will get one, and we will make pizza for ourselves the same night that the kids make their homemade pizza. So I'll show you what that will look like. It will have some mozzarella cheese on it, which is lower in fat. It will have tomato sauce, and then we will probably put some cut up tomatoes on it and maybe some basil, kind of like a what do you call it, a margarita uh, margarita pizza. So I'm super excited for this. This is good until November 19th. So even if we don't have our pizza night this week, these are good for a while. Okay, there's that. The other thing that I love about Trader Joe's is their fresh produce. I grabbed this kale. This will be great to add to a soup and it will last, it will not last a while. I thought it would last a while. Dang it, I may have to freeze this. Ugh, I may add it to the broc to the cauliflower soup. We'll see, we'll see. I grabbed some bananas. Okay, I grabbed three bags of salad, this romaine salad. I really wanted butter salad or butter lettuce, but they didn't have it. So I grabbed this romaine. They did have butter lettuce with the reticico or however you say that. So I grabbed two of these. And these will be great um, for a night when Lenny and I are just having like grilled chicken with salad and another, a few other vegetables with it, okay? So those are super, super good to have on hand and their lettuce 
is always so good, fresh, crisp, and it keeps a while. I have always been happy with Trader Joe produce. So there's that. I grabbed this to put on our salmon tonight when I'm making our fish tacos. It's a chili lime seasoning. I tasted it. I put some in my hand and tasted it. I thought it tasted fantastic. Lenny said, don't put that stuff on my food. So I'll be having it. He won't. So there's that. I grabbed some green onions. These will go with our cauliflower soup that we're making in a couple of days. I grabbed these. These are great snacks to have on hand and just, they go with anything. We can turn these into nachos where you cut these in half and put your meat mixture in, whatever. Or we can, um, you know, the kids will snack on them, whatever. There's that. I did grab a couple of chicken broths just because you guys know that I love to use the bouillon for my chicken broth, but I went ahead and grabbed two of these just to have these on hand for the nights that I need things to be a little simpler. I have not tried their alkaline water with electrolytes. This is a huge bottle. It was a dollar and some change. I grabbed it. Lenny and I will share it and see how much we like it, okay? All right, they have their version of go so I grabbed some of these, super yummy for the kids. This looked great. It was on the table when we first walked in, and I'm a sucker for all things pumpkin, even though I won't be eating this. This pumpkin, uh, <laughs> uh, this pumpkin bread, it's really thickly sliced. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. It looks delicious. The kids, we will turn this into French toast for them for breakfast. I may even do a French toast bake. How's your diet going? He is not happy. He's on day two and he- I've been angry and frustrated. He's hangry. And I feel like- He is hangry, big time. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> he's detoxing I'm from sugar. I'm upset at Taco Cabana, McDonald's. Every time I pass by one of those places, I go, man, I could just go grab something to eat really quick. But so far, I mean, you've only been, you're officially two days in. Yeah. You're on day two, but. And I hope I can complete this. He's, you will. But he started really kind of fasting. Sugar, I'm addicted to sugar. We're all sugar. addicted to sugar. He started fasting about two days before we started the diet. So he's only been on the diet for two days, but he was fasting two days before that and yes. just not eating sugar, not eating bread, um, drinking lots of liquids. I can't eat this either. No, you not can't have bananas. Put bananas. that down, put it down, put it down. Um, but you've already lost what, six pounds? Something like that, six pounds. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so there's that, plus a bag of chips. I'm now, me. he is missing his fast food. So I'm yes. going to make us a Big Mac salad this week. We will use this. And I was really mad with the name Big Mac salad. Very <laughs> deceiving. So we'll use this and it will be topped with some uh, pickles but I will use ground turkey with some uh, seasonings on it. And then I'm gonna make a homemade Thousand Island dressing. So when he heard Big Mac, he was like, really, really? I said, well, it's a salad. He's like, oh my goodness. I've reached the point of being hangry, please, please. Anyway, we'll see. I told him the first four to five days are the hardest. He's almost done. All right, cookie butter, not that we can have it, but my kids love it. My 15 year old said, mom, please, can we get this? So they will have this with you know, a spoonful of it here or there, or just in moderation. It's super yummy. Maybe eat it on a piece of toast, Luke said. That'll be yummy. I have a child that loves cinnamon coffee cake from Starbucks, and our 15-year-old saw this and said, hey, you should get this. It's a tiny little cake. Everybody, everybody but me and Lenny can have a little slice. They'll be happy with it. We used to get these cookies all the time when my kids were little. These are the ginger snap cookies. They come in a container that has a lid on top so you can seal it up and they're super yummy and they stay fresh. That'll last. You know, everybody can have a little cookie here and there. They're teeny tiny little cookies. And then we used to get these all the time when they were little as well, the crispy, crunchy chocolate chip cookies. But Lenny and I have to stay away from this stuff. We cannot be eating it. So I got a gluten-free box and a regular box. These are super delicious. They are just like Oreos. And these will just be little snacks for the kids. Luke wanted some Ritz crackers, so he grabbed their version of the Ritz crackers. Super delicious. Their salsa is really, really good. This is a great salsa. It's clean as far as I know. Let's look at this. Two total carbs. Uh, I mean, it's, for two tablespoons, it's 10 calories. You can put this on a salad and use it as your dressing. Super yummy. I bought a bunch of these, like five of them, six of them, and the kids ate all of them but one in the car. So these are, if you've never had these, I used to buy these all the time when they were little. It's like a fruit roll up, but a better fruit roll up for you. Luke grabbed this as a snack. It's 100 calories per bar. It's kind of, it's just a little slab of mini milk chocolate bars. Again, this, these things will be here for a while. 
they will have one every now and again not a big deal but Lenny and I will re <coughs> Lenny and I will refrain from eating these I got these for a movie night treat uh, hot cocoa hot cocoa stirring sticks they looked super fun so I got those we'll have a, a movie night one night real soon it is not beer it is root beer and this is the only soda that I bought and the kid Luke Luke was like, mom, can we please have root beer? Sure, sure. So there's four. The bigger kids will all have one and they'll call it a day. I did get some of this spiced cider. I will heat it up and the kids can have it on a movie night as well or just a nice fall night when we have a fire outside or whatever. This is super yummy. And then you guys know my kids love, my little kids love apple juice and cranberry grape juice. They had this apple juice. It will last us just a few days because we're such a big family, but that will be yummy and the kids will like having that to drink here and there throughout the week. So that's it. That's our grocery haul. We spent $172 and some change. Wow, that's here, cheap. Here is the receipt. Here we go. Not that you can really see it, but there is our, let's see. There's our total, 172 and some change. Down below, I have a link to some meal planning pages. I hope that you will click on that and download it. It will help you with your meal planning, making your grocery list, taking inventory of your fridge, freezer, pantry, etc., and saving money on your grocery bill. I hope that you will click the link below and download that. Make sure you like and subscribe. I want you guys around. I love sharing this stuff with you. Thank you for being, tol for being so tolerant of my loud, crazy house. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.